Greetings, YouTube. Farmer Son Prepping here. Thought I'd uh, come to you today and talk to you, give you a little reminder on uh, certain things we may need to prep for. Uh, I've done a video about this before, but it's been a long, long time ago, and I, I feel like we all need refreshers from time to time, especially me. And uh, today, your prep for today, as Gil would call it, uh, your prep for today is lubricants uh all types of lubricants uh stack up on your see this is my new can this is my older one the, i got the black tape holding this uh spot on because this is the one i currently have open but uh i use rimmel and uh for no pr other particular reason other than because it's usually what's left at walmart CLP is usually sold out. Hoppies, sometimes it's there, or sometimes it's not. So I'll just get Rimmel and use it for my general lubricant cleaner, whatever. Uh, this is not a lubricant. Some people get confused on what uh, what is an oil and what is not. This is not an oil, ladies and gentlemen. This is a water displacer. It's supposed to keep things from rusting. If you don't have anything else, you can put this on your firearms, but I prefer oil. This WD-40 stands for Water Displacement Formula Number 40. They did 40. The last one worked. Okay. That's where the name came from, Water Displacement Number 40. Uh, this is a rust preventative only. This does not lubricate. You ever notice if you use something like this on a joint, it'll make it quit squeaking for a minute or two, but you have to reapply all the time. That's because it's not oil. So anyway, wanted to cover that. Uh, it's good to have now. I use it for lots of different things. I use it uh, if I'm trying to get glue off of something. This works great for that. Uh, it's real slick. You can take your take a the the back side of your knife and just scrub it with some WD-40 glue comes right off yeah very good for that type of stuff and uh you know some other things that's useful for this but uh that is not oil so uh yeah i wanted to talk to you about especially the firearm stuff y'all uh as you can see here i've got some uh 40x bore cleaner uh I use that when I have to. A lot of people are into the Hoppies number nine. That's good if you can find it on the shelf. Normally that stuff's gone at my Walmart. Uh, but yeah, whatever it is you choose to use, uh, get it and uh, stockpile some of it. This right here is called Gun Butter. I know it's backwards, but it's called Gun Butter. This is a little bit of a thicker oil. Uh, you can put it on those little key strategic places and it won't run off, you know, like if you're oiling, if there's one key strategic place you need some little, little stickier type oil, uh, this will not run off. You can put a little drop on it and it'll stay there until you rack the slide or whatever, you know, use that joint or that motion. So I like this. Uh, I like the little uh, applicator that it comes in. I have another one of these. Uh, actually, I think I have two of these that are put up somewhere. I've got them in a box. Uh, so, uh, you know, of course, you use very little of this. You know, my general all-purpose is the rim oil. But uh, some things to be thinking about. Also, patches, uh, you know, stock up on some patches. Uh, depending on what you like as far as a patch goes. I know some people don't prefer, uh, like the cotton ones. Uh, they like some of the paperized type versions. But, um, uh, you can get patches, uh, on Amazon. You can buy them 10,000 at a time. You can buy them 1,000 at a time and save money instead of buying a box with 50 in it. Go somewhere and buy them, you know buy bulk on the patches you can save money these are pistol patches here but i've also got the bigger like shotgun and stuff patches as well but uh wanted to remind you be sure i know everybody's stocking uh the uh the pew pew food and all that but we need to make sure we can keep our pew pews cleaned and operable and that means lubricants 
And uh, there is your video for today. Me and uh, Penny Pinch and Prepper was actually talking about this on the phone. This is what gave me uh, the idea to do a reminder on this video. Uh, this right here, a little, little oil can. Uh, I have oil in here that I use to oil my fishing reels, uh, which is rarely that they need it, but sometimes you just press the bottom of the can down there. I'm not going to do it because I don't want oil all over my desk. But uh, these little things, you can get them pretty cheap. They're kind of vintage, but you can find them, yard sales or whatever. Uh, so good to have all types of lubricants. Uh, I need to reorder my chain lube for the ATV and some things like that. I'm getting low on that. So think about your vehicles, maybe oil, some extra oil for your vehicles as well. Just You can take this full scale, whatever it means to you. Uh, your mode of transportation, things at home that need lubricating. Of course, you can uh, use like regular old vegetable oil uh, in a pinch. Sometimes that'll work pretty good. It's a little sticky sometimes, but uh, yeah. Remember your lubricants. Stockpile whatever it is you like for your firearms. Whatever it is you like to use. There's my little gun butter. So uh, just remember to have some extra stuff. Uh, I don't go through a whole lot of this stuff, but uh, it's good to have it on hand. That's the video for today. Uh, Y'all have a blessed one, and we'll see you later. Former Sun Prep.